this is Pastor Eric Brookins. And before I give you announcements, I want to say a few words about temptation. That's going to be our subject this Sunday. You know, today I had a friend that took me to Chick-fil-A. And I, in the back of my mind, said, you know, I'm going to order a salad. But then my friend said, let me buy lunch. And so as I looked at the salads, I realized they were $2 more than the rest of the meals. And I thought, hey, a number one is cheaper. Plus you get fries and a drink. It's amazing how many excuses I can make for doing the wrong thing. You know, I knew I should get a salad, but instead, that Chick-fil-A sandwich just called for me. I did use low-fat mayonnaise, so I kind of justify it. So, But now i got to run a little extra, walk a little extra. I can't wait till I can run again so I can lose some of this weight. But anyway, you know, temptation is one of those things that comes into our lives that we all deal with and we all struggle with at times. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians, No temptation has overcome you or overtaken you, but such that is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you're able. But with the temptation, he will provide a way of escape. God wants to give you a way out. So we're going to talk about that this Sunday. We'd love you to come. But I want to encourage you, look at those passages in 1 Corinthians chapter 10. And you can look at 9 and 10 is what we're going to talk about this weekend. Hey, some great things coming up for our church. This weekend also is going to be our Cancer Awareness Weekend. And so if you have a purple shirt or if you have another color, maybe you have one of those pink shirts uh, for breast cancer or whatever, or you have a maybe you did a cancer run or a cancer walk and you have a shirt, wear that this weekend. We're going to be handing out purple ribbons in honor of Josh, who's one of our guys who has been fighting cancer and God has done miracles in his life and continues to use our church. And people continue to find out how you guys go out of your way to be with people and to help people who are hurting. And so keep doing that. That's what people know about our church. They help the hurting. Also, coming up very soon, we're going to be doing The Life You've Always Wanted. This is the giant version, Uh, but we'll be doing The Life You've Always Wanted. It's a great book by John Ortberg. And, uh, but we're going to be going through it and it talks about the disciplines in the Christian life. One of those being prayer. We're signing up now for the prayer team. If you're interested in for those eight weeks or even the few weeks before, uh, if you're interested in being part of the prayer team, listen, prayer is what makes things like this work. I encourage you sign up at the information table Saturday night or Sunday morning. Also, we're going to be doing small groups. I encourage you to get into a small group. Also, some of you may be willing to lead a small group. I'm thinking of one guy in particular that I heard speak recently. Um, would love to have some of you help to lead or be a part of a small group. All you have to do is pop the video in and ask some questions. Open your home, and if you don't have a home, we'll get somebody to open their home for you. If you're willing to lead a group, we'd love you. Let me know. Give me a call. Send me an email. Whatever works. Our new members class is coming up. On the 31st of this month, August 31st, our new members class after church, please sign up. Let us know you're coming. Also, baptism's coming next month. We're going to baptize at the beach, but you need to let us know that you're coming. And uh, we're working out some special details for that. We might do it at a little different place this time. But let us know, and uh, we'll be glad to to sign you up and talk to you about what that means. Baptism is that next step after becoming a Christian, what it means to know Christ. Also, um, talking about temptation this weekend... We're also starting a new thing. We're going to be doing some ads on Facebook that talk about how our church, we always talk about we're the church for people who don't go to church. And we've also talked about the perfect church for imperfect people. But we're going to be running some ads that say real, relevant, and relational. And so you'll be seeing those ads soon. If you're on Facebook, you look for those, and we'll be um, having those soon. Real, relevant, and relational. You guys are awesome. Thanks for taking a few minutes to listen. If you haven't been to church in a while, we'd love to see you at Surfside, a place where people are real. We understand we all struggle. None of us have it all together, but a place where we know that Christ is the one that not only forgives, but he helps us to grow. Thanks for taking a moment to listen. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email at ericbrookins at hotmail.com. I love you guys. God bless you. Keep you. Hope to see you this weekend. Thanks.